Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 creepy or inappropriate jokes in Disney movies. Huh. Twitter painted. For this list, we'll be looking at the most outrageous, questionable, and suggestive jokes intended for adults that made their way into the studio's films. Which of these moments do you think is the most inappropriate? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Kronk Pitches a Tent – The Emperor's New Groove The Emperor's New Groove is known for its kooky designs and humor, so it probably comes as no shock that it's full of naughty moments. A pretty notable one comes when Kronk and Yzma are camping out for the night. She appears to have taken the larger tent, leaving him to fend for himself. <gasps> the peasant! At the diner! He didn't pay his check. Ever the innovator, he has a little tent over his private parts, meaning he's pitched a tent in more ways than one. Hopefully, younger viewers just take this moment at face value, but it's actually quite the double entendre, and we're kind of impressed. It's the peasant who I saw leaving the city who disappeared into the crowd with Cusco in the back of his cart. <gasps> he must have taken him back to his village, so if we find the village, we find him, and if we find him, we find Cusco. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. Number 9. Hercules' Thoughts on Oedipus – Hercules One of the funniest films to come out of the Disney Renaissance, Hercules was always a bit more on the wild side. From a throwaway joke about Narcissus to a sassy Hades telling Meg that Hercules is bound to disappoint her, the movie pushed many boundaries. I can't believe you're getting so worked up about some guy. This one is different. He's honest and, and he's sweet. Please. He would never do anything to hurt me. He's a guy. In one scene, after spending the day with Meg, the titular character comments on the play they attended. That play, that, that, that Oedipus thing? Man, I thought I had problems. <laughs> Adults will know that he's referencing the plot of Oedipus Rex, where Oedipus accidentally fulfills a prophecy as he kills his father and marries his mother. Herc's problems definitely do seem a little less intense in comparison to that story. Number 8. Gurgle Almost Swears – Finding Nemo Between Nemo's mom and siblings being killed and Marlin believing that he's lost his son forever, Finding Nemo has some surprisingly bleak moments. It's okay, Daddy's here. Daddy's got you. Since Pixar films feel like they're designed for both adults and children, the filmmakers often sneak in a few gags for older audiences. While in Dr. Sherman's tank, Nemo's friend Gurgle gets grossed out by how dirty their home has become. So he speaks up, but is abruptly cut off by Peach the starfish. Don't you people realize we are swimming in our own Shh, Here we come! We can all tell what S-word was about to come out of his mouth, though. Who knew fish could be so foul-mouthed? Yeah, we're gonna be clean! Number 7. Mia and Tia Flash Lightning McQueen Cars We all know that Lightning McQueen is insanely famous and beloved. However, the fact that he has groupies probably could have been left out of the film. While awaiting the Piston Cup results, two of his fans, Tia and Mia, rush towards him. I'm Mia! I'm Tia! We're like your biggest fans! Good job! They profess their admiration in front of multiple news cameras and proceed to flash their headlights at him. Based on Lightning's expression, he knows exactly what flashing means in both the human world and the Carverse. And he seems quite content to stare at Mia and Tia's, um, headlights. Oh, me. Number 6. Syndrome Sees Mr. and Mrs. Incredibles Children – The Incredibles Syndrome is downright evil in The Incredibles, and it turns out he's downright cheeky, too. After suspending the Incredible family in midair, he makes quite a few comments about them. Namely, he pokes fun at their matching outfits and references the fact that Mr. Incredible married Elastigirl. Elastigirl? <laughs> you married Elastigirl? But his most icky observation comes after he notices their kids, Violet and Dash. Oh, and got busy! It's a whole family of supers! Syndrome, this is not how you should acknowledge the fact that your enemy has had children. At the very least, keep that thought to yourself. Looks like I've hit the jackpot! Oh, this is just too good! Number 5. Buzz Gets Excited – Toy Story 2 While Woody has a clear love interest in Bo Peep, Buzz doesn't need a special lady until Toy Story 2. But boy is he ever enamored with Jessie once she enters their lives. Ma'am, I, uh, um, <clears throat> well, I just want to say you're a bright young woman with a beautiful yarn full of hair. 
a hair full of yarn. It's, uh, oh, um, <clears throat> I must go. Well, aren't you the sweetest face toy I ever met? He can't even form a coherent sentence when they all return home. After watching her demonstrate her agility, he pops his wings, implying that he's, well, aroused. <laughs> this isn't the first time Disney has referenced what can happen to excited men, either. In Bambi, a cute kiss makes all the blood in Flower's body rush through him, and he becomes rigid. <laughs> These moments are easy to miss, but impossible to unsee. Number 4. Yzma's Dagger Reveal – The Emperor's New Groove I can't believe this is happening! For such a goofy movie, The Emperor's New Groove has quite a few body moments. When Cusco and Pacha face off against Yzma, she seductively lifts up her skirt, causing the pair to scream in agony and beg Yzma to stop. Then I bet you weren't expecting this. No! <laughs> she quickly reveals that she has a dagger strapped to her leg, prompting the pair to sigh in relief. Aha! Uh. Oh, oh, okay. They're fine with Yzma killing them, but not with her flashing them. Honestly, this feels a little rude. If you ask us, Yzma's still got it, and she shouldn't be afraid to flaunt it. Number 3. Kristoff and Anna discuss foot size. Frozen. Didn't your parents ever warn you about strangers? Yes, they did. Based on their conversations, it seems that Anna and Kristoff are the thirstiest couple in Disney history. As they head off to help Elsa in Frozen, he bombards her with questions about Hans, whom she got engaged to after one day. When Kristoff asks Anna about her fiancé's foot size, her reply is telling. Foot size? Foot size doesn't matter. <laughs> there is a belief that the size of a man's foot can indicate the length of something else, making this quite the dirty joke. And this isn't the only time Anna and Kristoff allude to what happens in the boudoir. In Frozen 2, when he complains about his clothing, her cheeky answer says it all. I prefer you in leather anyway. This is some serious Fifty Shades of Arendelle. Number 2. Dumbo and Timothy Hallucinate – Dumbo Let's see you blow a square one, pal! Say, that's very, very clever. Even though Dumbo is just over an hour long, a lot happens. From elephant mistreatment to scary clowns, this Disney classic has some of the most disturbing scenes ever put to film. One of the strangest happens after Dumbo and his mouse pal Timothy drink far too much of the bubbly and begin to hallucinate pink elephants. Seeing pink elephants is actually a euphemism for getting so inebriated one starts to have visions. But while that's certainly worrisome on its own, what's truly dismaying are the animals themselves. Can you honestly look into their hollow eyes and tell us they're not nightmare fuel? Look out! Look out! Pink elephants on parade! Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. A Baked Potato – Monsters University – He looks like he got into the greens. <laughs> Bears – Inside Out – Anger reminds us that there's more than one type of furry creature in San Francisco. What was that? Was it a bear? It's a bear! There are no bears in San Francisco. I saw a really hairy guy. He looked like a bear. Multiplication – Zootopia Judy makes quite the joke about how effectively bunnies reproduce. $200 a day, 365 days a year. Since you were 12, that's two decades of times 20, which is 1,460,000, I think. I mean, <laughs> I am just a dumb bunny, but we are good at multiplying. Mushu's powers, Mulan. Mulan's reaction was probably warranted. My powers are beyond your mortal imagination. For instance, my eyes can see straight through your armor. An awkward explanation, Ratatouille. There was a better way for Linguini to reveal Remy's existence. I have this, this tiny, uh, a little, a little, a tiny chef who tells me what to do. A tiny chef. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Genie's salacious comment, Aladdin and the King of Thieves. 
While the original Aladdin was a hit, most of us don't remember the two sequels that followed that well. It's all so magical. I'm not gonna cry. But it turns out there were some clever gems worth tuning in for, courtesy of Genie himself. As Aladdin and Jasmine stand ready to tie the knot in the third film, there's an unexpected attack on the castle. Let me be the point man. <laughs> in the chaos that ensues, the genie slips in this incredibly lewd one-liner. I thought the earth wasn't supposed to move until the honeymoon. This is a pretty raunchy comment, especially for a children's film. But if anyone can pull it off, it's genie. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.